The Blue Ridge Area Food Bank played host to a special visitor today. She's the CEO of the nation's largest hunger relief organization and a fixture on Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People list. NBC 29's Dryden Quigley shares her message. Your country owes you a debt of gratitude. That's the main point made by CEO of Feeding America, Claire Babineau Fontenot, in a speech given here at the Blue Ridge Area Food Bank. Thank you, Doug. Bobby. Thank you, Bobby. Curtis. Thank you, Curtis. Babineau Fontenot began by personally thanking every staff member of the Blue Ridge Area Food Bank. I wanted to say thank you to this community who has been an absolutely critical part of the success of this food bank in making certain that people who need food get access to the food. Each member of this team puts their time and energy into ending hunger in America. That includes Director of Programs Zach Nissen. We have a lot of work to do in our little corner of, uh, you know, the Shenandoah Valley and, and the sort of the western region of Virginia that we don't do it alone. Um, we do it in community with both Feeding America and then just food banks across the state and across the country. He says the pandemic highlighted the importance of food banks. For years, you would ask people, what's a food bank? And you wouldn't know. But all of a sudden, um, the work that we do is sort of getting recognition. Um, not that that's what we're doing the work for, um, but folks are seeing it. Um, and hopefully that means people know that there's a food bank now in their neighborhood that they can go to if they need help. But the work isn't done yet. Many of our food banks are seeing the highest demand they've ever seen in their history. And right when the demand is up, the supply is going down because she says a healthy town benefits everyone in it. When you have a thriving community, everybody wins. That's one of the most remarkable things about this issue. It's so foundational. When we get this right, everybody wins. In Verona, Dryden Quigley, NBC 29 News.